Hey, let's start it up. The rock in the road. Okay. King e3. Um, if king d7. Alright, we go king d3. Yep. Gotta check some out. has to be this and I always remember these points here <clears throat> then you then you pat then you have the opposition at that point you pass the opposition otherwise if we go like this we gain the opposition See if we push the pawn to f6, if he tries to block like with c3, we can actually, uh, in theory, huh? Should we have, we have mate already? <clears throat> that was straightforward. Let's see, bishop e3 check. Let's see, king c4, h, push, there, and he can't stop it in time. Let's see, rook takes, um, rook takes b4, queen takes b4, 
I mean, root takes b3, sorry. Uh, c takes b3. Queen takes b3, check. B queen b2. And then if we check with. Bishop uh, B uh, Bishop B three and I believe that traps the queen.
trying to think. Let me see if Rook A E eight. <coughs> then we um Maybe rook b8, which then we can have infiltration of um, b2. Let's see here. Let's see. Bishop. Bishop f5. Trying to see, I'm trying to think if uh, bishop f5, rook takes f6, mm. 
and it takes six it is f six hmm. actually this is the line I was looking at uh, bishop f five <coughs> rook takes f six check knight takes f six and then queen takes f five Because even if that, t oh, because the queen hangs. Ah, had the right idea. It's just this right here. I I thought about taking with the knight, but the queen hangs, so the queen has to move it. We pick it up. We just move the rook. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. So if we check here, uh, the king moves, then we play takes, <coughs> and the queen takes here, and the knight. Ooh. Actually, he can't take because of the, the knight there. Pow. Sorry. Um, yes. Excellent job. That was great. So you rook uh, g8, can taste g8, and then e8 equals queen.
So it takes the knight, he pushes, check, he comes here, check, he comes there, check, and then we're eventually going to get this. So. Ah. trying to figure out what, what to do with this. <clears throat> I'm thinking this actually Hey, I'm actually thinking knight takes d4 bishop takes d1 Knight E six check King E seven Knight takes D eight Let's see, bishop, b4, pawn push, queen takes, it's mate. So we got mate here. There we go. Okay, so queen b1 check, queen intercepts, queen takes, king takes, rook takes, and if he comes up here, then we grab that and we're leading towards me. Oh, snap, my bad. Well... Oh, we pick up a rook. Snap, crackle, and pop. 
is to Java. to win that. The only way to uh, hold is to uh, fork these so that when you most can be one you take, take, and now there's no, there's none of this here, uh, checkmate. <clears throat> okay. We got it. We got it. So bishop takes uh, f8, queen take. I mean bishop takes f7, queen takes f7, um, rook takes, and when king moves, we snap up the the bishop. I mean the queen. Pow. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yes. Great work. Great work. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see, check. Okay, knight f4, check. King g3. F, uh. Sorry, rook f4, check, not knight. Rook f4, check. King g3. Push up here. If we go G five. Let's see here. What do we want to do? What 
do I want to do? Do do do. Queen H7 check. King F8. Queen H8 check. King uh, A7. Knight takes rook. On F7. King takes, and then we play bishop takes, and we get mate. So let's see if this is right. Oh. I have a question on that. Puzzled on that setup. Okay, if takes here. Oh, because of uh, this here, I did not see that, my bad there, let's give that a go. That was like straight in your face, uh, um, right there, it's like, hello. good uh, you know what it's you know it's going as they would say I'm uh, thinking about playing bishop to a5 which threatens mate and will pick up the queen oh our so not <laughs> Drat, that's even better. <laughs> oh, ouch. That's not fun. I was thinking of this, but then, um, and then he could play here, and then we can mate one, but I, I missed that he could actually take there, and then we'd have to block there and move, and we then we'd have to, if we move the king, he could grab here, it's mate, so... He just castles at that point. Okay. A little too, uh, I, sh I should play there, 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 and then you, uh, grab the queen. Gotta remember the, set up the discovery. Okay, we'll go over it. Uh, that was a lot of down points there. Ouch. One, 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 king, and we stopped it, so one, one, Now we can actually play uh, knight d2, or d8. If king takes, we take, and we're, we're good to go. That 
that's it, okay. So here, here. say it's we're having fun though that's that's the whole point is doing uh, what the Lord wants you to do and keep pushing forward like what we always say keep pushing forward let me see here let me see let me see let me see Trying to see if night. Is there any night move? Trying to figure out how I can undermine this uh, G5 pawn. Knight is four. Queen takes c two. Knight takes g five. Pawn takes g five. Queen check on <clears throat> e1 if uh, king comes up. What do we do then?
check. Okay, and here we just bring the knight in, so we won't do that. He'll go back. So here, back, here, up, there, back, and then there we pick up the the um, See, I've seen it uh, before, and a, and so it's like it's a nice, like you're saying, nice ladder. Ay, ay, ay. Let me see here. Yep, that is true. I'm trying to figure out how to, let's see, bishop um, h6, bishop f7, um, bishop h6, bishop f6. Huh. I'm thinking rook takes bishop is um, potentially an idea. And then the... Uh, um, Thinking potentially this might be an idea. Oh. And Bishop, uh, sorry, uh, Bishop H six. Or we could uh, better better than that is um, I'm thinking either d5 or uh, queen g3. Bishop takes queen, rook takes, and then pawn takes rook. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. I'll put a, an unread one. I'll be right back.
Okay, we'll do that game after this one. Let's see here. Oh, C5, sorry about that. That was my, my bad there. Because it's mate, yeah. Yeah, you were, that was nice find there. Yep. Okay, let's take a look at that game. Oh, Bon Vienic. Nice. So, white one here, Bon Vienic. E4, knight f5, f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, c takes d5, e takes d5, well, uh, Simon Williams says that you can make really any opening you want want it to. So he was joking. He was trying to say that the Berlin. And he's like, let's not talk about the Berlin. Exciting. That was a, that was a joke on one of his uh, killer Frenches episodes. Uh, Bishop e7, e3, castles, king side. Bishop d2 or d3. Knight BD7. Oh, nice. Eyeballing the H pawn. Get ready to castle queen side and slam the pawn up the board. Well, this looks very similar to a game that I played. I ended up drawing. I castled king side. Okay. That'd be slightly boring a little bit. Queenside would have been a uh, pretty uh, berserker uh, way of doing it. Let's check. What would have happened if he castled Queenside? Okay. Did 
This stops. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what this does, of course, you guys know it stops the infiltration of these two points. Also prepares later on, if must be. <clears throat> also prepares. Also prepares. Uh, so it prepares the knight to go into here and then in. Prepares the queen to go through. It stops the knight from going to these two points. And it prepares uh, a kingside expansion. How can you have anything better? That's a wonderful move. That's like five ideas right there. That's what my teacher told me. Two or more. And I had, I had two or more ideas for sure. See, there's the, there's the queen. And there's the push. Nice move because this threatens to uh, come here, there, and then back rank. So we had to uh, weaken his structure. Then we just take, takes, we attack the queen. Yeah, exactly. And here comes the, the crash bang wallop as uh, Ginger GM would say. Ooh, even nicer. Nice. This prepares that, and it clogs. The funny thing is, if you take here, this this actually is winning on the spot. I believe. Let me see. I hope I'm... Oh, so maybe I, well, I am wrong. Oh. I missed a tactic there. My bad. Sorry, guys. So he can't take because of check over check over uh, right here and then mate. Smack. Here comes another another infiltration. Now we're threatening mate there. So King, a uh, knight has to jam itself into G7 uh, force. Th these are now all forcing moves. FC3, uh, this, now, th now this is bringing down the hammer of devastation because let's say he plays this right, we can actually force mate with an Arabian mate. So he has to, he has to give a spot for the king for after this, this this, this, and that king to go there. But hey, why why do that? Just smack down the the um, rook, the knight and go, hello, I'm coming with a discovery and this time it's gonna hurt bad. Really bad. Double bad. <laughs> bad to the 10th degree. I'd love to play this here, but it just doesn't work. Well, that does. That ends in me. See that? that there's no... Eh. I was hoping that I'd get protection there, but it's just not enough. Not enough. And he could actually potentially trade down and 
uh, do a back rank mate problem with us with our with our sitch so that that's why he had to of course you guys were wondering why didn't he uh, move the queen there you go he could play this though and I don't know if that actually uh, holds though let's see queen takes No. No, still, we have a problem with our back rank. So he asked to move the queen. I was just looking at a way to, uh, if there's any other way to make some progress. H6. This is a power move. And then ka bluey. And now the king has a flight square, and we can do sacrifices galore. No back rank mate issues. Very strong game. Very strong game by White. You have to love that. Yeah. You have to. You gotta love it. Let's see, what does the engine say? So, let's see, if we, if we trade down now, I just gobble pawns, okay. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a little brutal. A little brutal. We don't want to be brutal. We want to just win, get you know, get the one on our side, and then we can teach the other. Uh, player how 
to play chess and help better them. So by defeating, uh, if you're white, by defeating uh, black, you get to teach uh, the player who's in charge of black how to play black better. You never, um, I remember what my teacher told me, and my, and my family also, that you never play the person, you play the position. So you change the, there's, they, <laughs> there's two P's in it, but people think that, uh, they, they say person, I say position, because that's actually what you're playing. It doesn't matter who you're facing. You're playing the board, not, not the person. Uh, <laughs> And John, I know you're, you guys probably, you're uh, a chess friend, you're probably saying, um, but didn't uh, Josh Wadeskin's guy that was teaching him in the, um, the park say, you play you play the person? Well, to a degree you do, but that I believe it's not the person you're playing, I believe it's the emotions that uh, the person brings in with them. You don't really, uh, I don't believe you play the person. Because when you do that, you actually uh, lose. And you don't want to bring emotions into it. Your your job there is like what an engine would do. The engine calculates, finds the best move. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, he and that that's you like an engine. The the engine plays the best moves. They don't uh, care who they're facing. It's uh, it, they're playing the position, and if and I, that's what makes a super grandmaster from a grandmaster is when they uh, stop playing the person, but they play the board. And that's on uh, one. That's one thing that is hard to put aside is the emotions part of uh, chess, because you get the fear that oh, if you do this, you're gonna uh, and you lose, you're gonna let you know your family down or something. Oh well, true. Yeah, well, you know, you, when you get used to, you'll get used to playing those I have. They're pretty fun to play against, and they're very uh, talkative. They will show you moves that, um, to work on. And also, like, yeah, uh, my teacher told me that um, rating comes with, um, chess players maturity and as well uh, let me see what I guess <laughs> some reason I had a block there uh, yeah I've, I've, I've uh, faced some high level players as well so you just don't. It, oh, that I now remember. <laughs> sometimes when you're focusing on the puzzles and you're trying to talk, sometimes and you're trying to do three things at one time, you miss the third thing. Okay, the third thing came back. Uh, you don't play the rating. Yeah, you don't. You don't play. Uh, you don't play the um, the rating. That's what my, your my teacher told me is. They may, they may have um, not been playing for a while. And they may be rusty. He says, they uh, some players defeat themselves before they even go to the board. Because they uh, they think that oh the guy's twenty one hundred or twenty three hundred. He's a um, life master. That he he's just going to destroy me. No no don't think that way. The game hasn't even begun, and uh, you're um, already defeat, being defeated. I believe that there was a historical uh, person named John Paul, uh, John, not 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 the a Pope John Paul, but I, uh, he was uh, a captain of the 
um, revolutionary army of the ships of the and the British redcoat uh, one of the uh, guys says surrender your ship and he and uh, and end basically end this fight he says I have not be I have not yet begun to fight that's what he said I have not I, I, I believe I don't know if I'm coining that I'm not I don't know if I'm coining him exactly right but he says the fight hasn't even begun, my friend, and you're saying that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lose. No, Siri, I'm not gonna lose. And so, with his lesser than the um, uh, Br uh, British Navy uh, ship, he sunk that ship. So he uh, he's a, that that historical uh, figure is an example of how we should say. I have not yet, uh, sir, or, or ma'am, I have not yet begun to play my chess game yet. So you, you may have a high rating, but that doesn't mean that I'm uh, not going to have a chance of winning. Let's see here. So check. Ay, ay, ay. I've been looking at this for a little bit here. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm thinking. I was looking at rook f1 and rook f8 check, king g7. Ay, 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 ay. Not, nothing, I don't win anything at that point. Actually, we could pick up a pawn if he does that. Oh, we're black. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I thought we were white. Oh, that is so funny. That's that's funny. That is funny, 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 funny. I'm looking at uh, in that case g4, then uh, bishop uh, g3 uh, wins the rook on b8. Oh wait, we can oh. We could just push at that point and then win the rook. I was looking at it from the wrong direction. Oh, so you saw 1800 beat a 2300? Yeah, it happens. It happens. There's those, um, um, what do they call it? Shocker games? You uh, every once in a while you you get to have a one of those blessing games that that happens. It's all about and people are like, oh, it was just that person's luck. No, no, no. 
that that one person that played the that was the 1800 that beat the 2300 was more prepared that's what my teacher told me it's not about luck it's not about chance it's about patterns and and he said that's what he told me and I was like that is brilliant you know it, it's it's not about uh the whole thing I, I remember what my teacher told me it's not about you but it is about you it's a, it's a, it's more about um, how much knowledge you've come to the board with and do you have the proper um, you know memory system do you uh, have you uh, have you put in the time uh, do you understand what what the opening you're playing does? And uh, do you, can you control your nerves uh, efficiently as well? Boy, I'm thinking about playing uh, Rook E1, and I believe that, does that save everything? I believe it saves everything. I'll, um, There might be a queen, uh, queen e, uh, uh, queen d4. So uh, queen d4. If uh, queen takes f3, then uh, queen takes f6. Check. King uh, g8. Queen takes Queen takes uh, G six check King uh, F eight. We could we could uh, after a king after king f8 play queen takes h6 check and then we just start we just gobble all of his uh, pieces we can also gobble another pawn and then we'd we'd have mass a massive pawn uh, majority. I'm thinking queen here. Let's see that end result. Ah, it's a draw. So let's see it takes D.
Rook takes e6. Bishop takes e6. Bishop takes uh, b8. So pawn takes g4, if king takes g4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, we stop it. Otherwise, you can get in front of it. I missed that. I had to move up just one. Take time just for one move. Okay, uh, C so takes D3. Queen takes d3, bishop takes e4, or e5. C takes d3, knight takes d3. Doesn't just the take work? I gotta find out why. Oh. Wow. 
Why would they hang? I have to always remember to ask myself, why are they hanging on night? You have to see why. Otherwise, you land in end in maintenance. Like, oh, <clears throat> that would be sad. Take you take Thanks. Because, oh, I get it. Because when he moves, then we take. Ah! Ah, I got it now. Hmm. Interesting, for sure. Check, bishop takes, check, king up, here. There's no way to stop him, mate. See here, 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 up, there, there, and then 
that's me. Queen d2 is an interesting move. Bishop takes d, d I mean queen d7, bishop takes d7, rook takes, 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 and it's me. So that's. Rook takes. Compound. Sorry, well, yeah, yes. Hurrah. So bishop takes d4. And if c takes d4, rook takes check, we pick up. So bishop takes d4, rook takes a8. Queen takes um, f2. King the king d1 bishop check queen takes the g queen takes g4 rook takes hmm. I still like this idea though
why not uh, uh, oh I got what you said oops I don't make sure I do this Because of uh, he could protect there, so the only way to hold is this move here. It takes I was wondering if if he could actually play that, but then I forgot that C uh, C two, and you can actually pick up. Uh, you can play Rook A two, King B here. C2, King D5, Queen takes, oh, Queen takes B4. Yeah, because we don't have to worry about any checks right at the moment. And if he takes here, then we have uh, Queen to B7. B7, sorry, right there, and that's mate. Let's give it one more shot. Let's give it a go. I think it's because uh, if we went uh, bishop takes c3, um, we would uh, he'd be able to bring his rook back and then be two pawns up. I'm thinking queen a7. Uh. <clears throat> queen b3 check. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's let's give that let's take a look at that. Okay, Queen B three check King H eight. What do we do after that? <clears throat> do we play uh, um, Queen D three? But I don't think that works. So we're thinking, okay, so you're thinking this.
Oh, no, oh, this is funny. Just play there. What am I thinking? And we just pick up the queen. That is funny. That's funny. That's a crazy, you have to go berserk for that. And then you play.
65 Taste D3, remember taste D1, Knight takes C6, Rook takes A1, Good. Let's see how we're doing. Perfect us. Oh yeah, we'll go over it in just a second. We'll go over it in just a sec. Okay, so Alfred, let's see. There's something to this here. Da, 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 da. F5, E takes F5, Pawn takes F5. Bishop takes f5.
Okay, we were going to ask about this um, move sequence here. After after what? Uh, Yes, that's right. Yeah, you are right. If uh, if it's dead here, he can actually take here. We could take there. He could take there. We could take here. He could take there. And then we're still in it, but not by much. We uh, not by much. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yep. Come on, come on. We could do this. We are the chest crunching, chest cruncher team. Looking at either knight takes uh, c uh, b5 or uh, c takes uh, b5. That those are two ideas. I don't really see any checks. Oh, that'd be a fork at that point, wouldn't it? Huh. Also covers uh, this move here too. Yeah, had to make sure we were all on, uh, all doing it a hundred percent. I'll do this, then I'll put a not unrated one on, and I'll be right back. Perfect. See, rook takes B one, knight takes B one.
Let's say we're pinned, though. Let's say we're uh, pinned right here. I'm sorry. Okay, you, okay, I, I had that put in backwards, that's right. That was, yep. <clears throat> that was my, my bad, huh? I had to remember the fobby. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. And we'll do uh, one more after this unrated one, of course.
Okay. So knight g5. Hmm, let's give her a go. Yep. So, queen, f4, check, queen, or, uh, or, uh, rook, or r, 2, e3, e3, queen takes h1, h4. I think if we, uh, I think if we play queen takes d uh, four, he's got uh, bishop uh, e four if I'm not mistaken. Nice job, guys. Oops. <laughs> I think and potentially uh, queen f5 check. Not exactly sure after f5. Let's see, f5. He's got, he has after queen f5. Five check. He's got either uh, king e3 or uh, 
King um, G1 Oh yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? So check here, it comes up the board. So we can't allow that to happen. So we'll ha we have to play uh, queen e5 check to push him right back down the board. He'll probably go king either um, f2 or king. F3. I don't know if he'll do F3 though because that would that'd lead to mate for him. Oh, he did F3. Hmm. So you check, it comes down. I believe that that'd be, that's a mate maybe. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, with lost points? Oh, wow. How did, how did we lose eight points? Well, we we actually got this one right, and they took they took points away. I was like, whoa. Let's see here. As he plays there, you have that. Yeah, this is what I was thinking right here. Here. And then uh, queen, queen here to, to do the old-fashioned squeeze. So the queen can only come up here. And we take there. Yeah. Yikes. But hey, we got it right. That's what matters. It's not about the points. I always re I have to remember that. It's all about getting them right. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're, you know what, and we're learning. And the points are just uh, a benefit of uh, our learning process. Okay, let's see if we can't earn some of those back.
Uh, let me see. So bishop takes h3. Um, No, no. This uh, the one that I the one I'm uh, twenty six hundred is uh, alliedchess.org. I just I just do uh, tactics on here. I'm twenty six hundred alliedchess.org, but I yeah. No, not a problem. I just wanted to let you. Uh, I just wanted to to ha uh, let you guys let you know it wasn't that. I just uh, haven't been doing LHS.org. I've been doing these uh, puzzles here. Yeah, I was looking at that, but well, how do we can see that? That yeah. Um, Bishop uh, h3 check or takes sorry I uh, put takes in there and he's got king to e2 and like huh what do we do then and That's what I'm thinking is let's let's give this a let's give this a shot. I know it's that I I just can't figure out what's the continuation. How do we check here? We just retreat the queen back and we defend. Let's look at. Yeah. We'll do this one here, then I, I gotta log. He's threatening. He's threatening me. On uh.
Nice job. Let's see he'll, uh, if we do that. See if we do knight e2 uh, check, bishop takes uh, e2. That's the only, that's the only sitch. I, I did look at that. It's just there's, he can actually take, and I don't, mm, let me see here. Maybe there is mate. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it might, let me see. I think you're right. I think it is mate. No, you, I think you're right. Because knight e2, check. Uh, bishop takes uh, e2, uh, e2, and then queen uh, b2, I think is mate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Perfect job. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. There we go. Do you guys have any questions on this puzzle before I log off? Well, you know what? We make it great as a team. So I appreciate all of your help. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate all you, um, chess, my chess friends coming on and uh, helping out. We're going to get there. Sometimes I uh, I get out of like five, I get like four or three right. And I miss t the, you know, the two combos. And I just got to uh, work on that. We're getting better. I used to only get two out of five, uh, you know, of the combo lines, right? So we're at like four now out of five. So... We just got to keep pushing forward and uh, ne don't give up. You know what I mean? The Lord's given us a mind of perseverance, and we just got to keep pushing forward. And I know you, my chess friends, are doing great because uh, you're solving puzzles sometimes when I, I can't see them. So that's, that's stellar. That's excellent. Uh, knowing is not enough we must apply so we have to take what we learned here take what you've learned from the stream on the puzzles like forex pins skewers yeah like how uh, play the grub uh, did he uh, play the grub looked beyond um, the you know the queen mate and saw that uh, knight e2 bishop takes e2 and queen b uh, queen b2 was actually mate that's excellent. You're you're not you're not looking at at the threat. You're looking at the idea behind what the move sequences are, and that's the Aikido principle. So we we have a will. The you know the Lord's given us a will to you know to keep pushing, of course. But unless we actually do something with our uh, you know will, it'll only be something that we would like to do. There are no limits, uh, my friends. There are plateaus, and that, and you know what? You'll reach a plateau like where we're at, but eventually, what's going to happen is it's going to click, and then the plateau will go over the, um, will go over the, the plateau into the next one, which will be like 2,300. But it just takes time for our mind to lay down that that road. Like a highway isn't built in one day, Rome isn't built in one day, and empire isn't built in one day. It takes many, uh, you know, patience of architects coming in and designing it properly. And our minds like a like that. We just have to be patient with our minds, focus down, do the best we can, give it a hundred percent. And when that's uh, when we have given it a hundred percent, or as my uh, mother and my uh, teacher also talked to me about, there's something called the he he called it a cup like uh, a coffee cup when your cup is filled to the limit that's that's as much as you're going to be able to drink that day but what will end up happening happening 
is that your, uh, your cup will start getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you'll be able to consume more and more and more information. And it, that just takes time. You just got to be patient. And if you have the will, like what Bruce Lee said, to actually sit down and do it, your cup will grow till you get to the destination that you want, whatever rating. And I do pray that you go even beyond that uh, rating and never stop and always glorify the Lord. That's the whole point. We, we have to remember that, you know, like when in a mine, when you're digging for diamonds, you're not every day going to find a diamond. You may one day hit a wall and a bunch come out. And you got to treasure those days, but sometimes you hit a wall and there's no diamonds that come out. But you got to keep putting up those beams and digging deeper in, and you will, my friends, one day hit that wall, and it'll be like the mother of all diamonds are right there. It'll be the the giant diamond, and it'll be that that it'll be that one game that that sets uh, sets you uh, in the books. Like the like Bobby Fischer did uh, his uh, game, I forgot who it was, but he he had the the game of like the century of his game, the immortal game. He traded a queen for, I think it was a bishop and a knight and a and a rook, and he ended up beating his opponent. So th- and that's uh, that's what I want for you guys to do is have your immortal uh, game, and then you guess guess what you could do? You get to share it with others. And, that's that's the best thing about uh, chess is how you can give back and that that's that's what I would like is for you uh, for the legacy that my teacher's given me I'm giving the knowledge that he's given to me to you my friends so that you can improve and that that's the whole point about chess is to make chess better and better and better for the next generation and our kids are really, really smart in chess, I gotta say. So we have a really good uh, generation coming up. Um, I also would like for you to say a prayer for uh, France and Paris right now. It's in such turmoil, and now we gotta pray for all of Europe because the turmoil is flooding in, uh, spilling over into other uh, countries now. And it's getting pretty ugly. And I do pray, that, I ask that you pray for that peace is found. They, uh, they can find equal ground. And uh, that whatever is uh, going on ends. And, you know, as they say, stability comes back to all the countries in Europe again. Okay. And uh, remember what we say? We hang up our coat. We hang up our hat. We sit down and study when most won't. We do, and that makes all the difference. And trust me, it is. You guys are making a huge difference by studying, so keep that up. And always remember, I love it what Hannibal Smith says. I love it when a plan comes together. So you can always say that when you get a puzzle and you're excited. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, as Wesley so says through the Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, and Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow, and we'll keep pushing forward and getting our uh, rating up, 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 and away we go. And it's just time and perseverance, and I know you, my chess friends, are in it to win it, like I'm in it to win it. So two thumbs up. Go Team Chess Cruncher. Hoorah. Be blessed. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.